Dear friends, on behalf of Daphne and I and our co-chairs, Brooke and Adam August, we thank you for gathering together this evening virtually to celebrate our wonderful school and to honor Menachem and Nava Eli, together a pillar of our community that personify everything that Berman Hebrew Academy is all about. Menachem's infectious, cheerful energy, Nava's quiet, regal demeanor, their genuine interest in everyone, and their deep sense of commitment to Am Yisrael, Torah Yisrael, and Eretz Yisrael. We, your family, your neighbors and your friends have looked on with admiration as you have tirelessly devoted of your time, your talent, and your treasure to the institutions that sustain us all. Daphna and I feel so grateful to be close with you and we have learned so much from your shining example. A few years ago, our family had the great pleasure of traveling to Israel with the Elis. And my older boys and I met up with Menachem and Jake for a caving adventure in a just discovered cave in northern Israel. The entrance was this tiny gap in the rocks that a Bedouin shepherd had recently stumbled upon. You had to shimmy through an impossibly tight opening, which led to a hundred foot drop to the floor of a gigantic cave below. It was a magical experience, but getting out was really tricky. I remember struggling to make my way up the rope, sliding my head and helmet sideways to make my way through the rocks and out. And as I'm struggling, a strong, perfectly tanned arm reaches down through the dark mouth of the cave, followed by a full-eared smile and glimmering teeth as Menachem reaches in to help. This is a picture-perfect moment of who the Elis are always there for you, and always with joy and love. Nava and Menachem, Daphne and I love you, and we congratulate you on this well-deserved honor. May you grow from strength to strength. Kol HaKavod, Menachem and Nava, for being chosen as the new 2020 honorees of the Berman Hebrew Academy, a school that is so dear to me, and that has touched every one of my progeny with the sweetness of Marabacha, the scholarship of Rabbi Zucker, and now the diplomacy of Ambassador Dermer. We have been so enriched by your ongoing sponsorship of meaningful, authentic Judaism in the Washington area and in our homeland in Israel. You serve as a role model and bring respect and Kedusha in everything you do. May you continue with good health, much happiness, and the nachas from your children as I have had from you. Much love to you both. Chazak v'yamatz, Mom. Nava and Menachem, Humbly and quietly, you both do so much for Berman and the greater Berman community. We love you both, and we are privileged to be your friends. Mazel, Mazel tov, tov on, on this well-deserved well honor. <laughs> what do we love about Menachem and Nava? He's always smiling. He's so graceful. He loves to daven. She's an amazing mother. He loves, loves, loves the kids. He's an amazing cook. He loves to eat. She's regal. They get a lot of awards and he tears up when he thanks her. They're so generous and kind. They lift everyone around them up. They're just awesome. And we get to be their cousins. Mazel tov Menachem and Nava. Mazel tov Menachem and Nava on this wonderful honor and tribute to the two of you. What kind of tribute? Tribute, there's no scotch. There's no baby lamb chops? Yeah, I miss those too. But tonight it's about love. The two of you, Menachem and Nava, really exemplify just the purest of giving. You always give with grace and with passion quietly. You never say no. And your yes is always true, real, and full-hearted. We love you very much, and we are so proud of who you are and what you do. L'chaim. And now we can have our scotch. <laughs> Mazel tov. Hello, Nava and Menachem. It is a pleasure for Pam and me to let you and everyone in attendance know at this global event that we are very proud of your accomplishments and your service to the Jewish community. 
whether it is through Ben Achim's intense involvement, Nava's quiet demeanor in getting things done with specific attention to detail, or the tremendous tzedakah you give worldwide. Everything is done with a caring and warm heart for the benefit of others. Daniel and I wish you Mazel Tov on this community award. We love you and your entire family so much. And even though this is online and somewhat distant, we wanted to give it the formal environment it deserves. Happy anniversary, Menachem and Nava. It's not their anniversary. That's next month. Mazal Tov, Menachem and Nava. I'm being honored by the Berman Hebrew Academy. You both personified Torah mitzvot and ma'asim tovim. Tamshichu b'darkechem. Some people learn Torah. I say people support Torah. You guys do it both. Mazal Tov, Mishana Haba'a B'Yerushalayim. Mommy and Daddy, you are the most devoted and selfless people that we know. The dedication, work ethic, and attention to detail that is implemented in all that you do is commendable. It is something that I've always admired and applied to my daily life. When we come to you for guidance or just to talk, you're always there for us. Without hesitation, no matter the cause, you manage to make time and go out of your way to put us and our needs before your own. I believe this mirrors your roles within the community as well. We feel so lucky every day to know that Hashem blessed us with such loving and special parents. Not only because of the indescribable amount you do for us and our family, but the way that you have helped build this community as well. We got to see you provide this to Berman firsthand, and it gives us so much pride to be part of this legacy. You have set an example that we can only hope to live up to one day. Mommy and Daddy, you both support us in everything we do, whether it was cheering us on at every game, allowing us to study in Israel, or helping us move into college, we always feel safe when we're with you. To know that you both are such pillars in the Berman community inspired us to take leadership roles as well, and we strive to make you proud by acting with the Jewish and moral values you instilled in us. We love you both more than words can describe. Mommy and Daddy, being the youngest, I really reap the fruits of your labor, always providing us with everything we need, coaching all my sports teams since I could barely even walk, and of course, making sure we always keep the strong Torah values that you cherish so much with us at all times. The care and compassion you have for others in the community is something we admire so much we can only hope to make as big an impact as you have on others. Mazel tov, we love you. Mommy, Daddy, come here. There's something for you from the Academy. Mazel tov, 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 From the Academy, ooh. Here. What is this? From the Hebrew Academy? Toilet paper? Flour? Are you kidding? Wipes? Disinfectant? Are you kidding? This is gold. This can't be from the account. Oh, this is supposed to be for the Bermans. <laughs> oh, Eliana, wrong house. <laughs> oh, well. oh, sorry. This is from the This is what we love these things. What's it called? Hamsen? Thank you very much. It's gorgeous. Thank you very much. We're very, very touched. Thank you. Mother, esteemed Rabbeim, dear family and friends, and members of our amazing community, thank you for participating in the 76th annual celebration of Berman, the first time in virtual mode. Aside from the personal interaction with many of our dear friends, and of course the sushi bars and lavish buffet tables, we were told we were having little lamb chops. But we kind of like it this way. And travel time and parking can be beat. But seriously, we're so grateful and we would like to thank and express our sincere appreciation to the chairs of this beautiful event, our dear friends Brooke and Adam August, and our dear cousins Daphna and Brian Berman for all their time and energy to put all of this together. And particularly Brian for the very kind words, although in my case somewhat exaggerated. Except for the Golan Heights cave adventure, that was completely accurate, right on the mark. Of course, none of this would have happened but for the superhuman effort, determination and seemingly endless energy of Jennifer Zuckerman, Sarah Zuckerman, and their team. We thank you all. 
We are truly humbled to be receiving this award, especially with the other extraordinary honorees, Rabbi Mordechai Zucker and Ambassador Ron Dermer. Rabbi Zucker has true year at Shemaim, is a phenomenal Judaic teacher and almost legendary, having inspired hundreds of students throughout the years, including all four of our children. And Ambassador Dermer, an outstanding advocate who has been at the forefront of the U.S.-Israel relationship the, pa the last 15 years, brilliantly defending the Jewish people and our Jewish homeland. We thank you both for all your contributions and congratulations on the well-deserved honors. Chazak, chazak, benit chazak. Although we really didn't want to be honorees, we acquiesced in the end because we have a special place in our heart, a hakarata tov for Berman, which I attended, let's just say, a very long time ago, when known as the Hebrew Academy of Greater Washington. And all of our children are proud graduates. Back in the olden days, the Academy, serving Jewish students through ninth grade, was in Northwest DC on 16th Street and Fort Stevens Drive, way before grass fields and first-rate track and field facilities. At that time, there were no other Jewish schools for those grades in the whole Washington metropolitan area. So it functioned as a huge tent for Jews from very diverse backgrounds. Notwithstanding the wide-ranging backgrounds, learning Torah, Gemilut Chesed, love for Israel, participation and active support for, com for community causes, are values that permeated the atmosphere then and continue today to be instilled as core values at Berman. Although I was certainly not a poster child for Berman back then, not even close, I never felt abandoned or that I was a lost cause. Rather, I see that seeds were planted, not concentrated solely on the here and now, but energies were invested then for the sake of producing positive results in the future. As stated by Rav Volbi concerning Chinuch, growth, growth is a natural organic process. Seeds placed into the soil will sprout on their own. If you want something particular to sprout, you must be careful to plant precisely what you want and afterwards the seeds will sprout from themselves in a natural process. I believe I was influenced back then, even if it was deep down inside, which resulted in my current quest to come closer to Hashem through learning, praying, doing mitzvot, and striving to make a difference, and to lead our family along the same road. The lessons that I was taught then continue to live on, and Berman has been able to successfully impart the message that no matter what, our priority and guideposts in all that we do must be Torah. We were particularly impressed this last year spending substantial time in Israel with both Nessie and Jake and their fellow Berman graduates who were in seminaries and yeshivot. They definitely stood out in terms of their midot and seriousness in learning, very impressive and inspiring. Finally, I'd like to thank Nava, my Eshet Chayot, who tries to stay out of the limelight, but does a tremendous amount, especially behind the scenes. She also runs our household, caring for our four beautiful children, Ariella, Eliana, Nessia, and Jake, who we're so blessed to have and who are absolutely the essence of our lives. And lately, we've all been reunited and under the same roof since before Pesach, hunkered down due to COVID-19. See, there's a silver lining in everything. So we went from empty nesters to a full house and we still get gourmet meals every day. Nava, you are my true soulmate and I love you. We know that Hashem provides us with our livelihood and we are extremely grateful to Hashem for giving us the privilege to help support this vibrant, wonderful institution. We thank you all, our family and friends, who have joined us and supported this wonderful event, making it a success. May we all continue to do chesed, especially for those vulnerable and having additional needs during these challenging times, which will result in our privilege to see the fulfillment of the vision of our prophets, 
Beviat Goel Tzedek, the coming of the true Redeemer, Bimheira Biomenu, speedily in our days. Thank you very much. Thank you.